as to the waterfront properties, okay. it's it may have been polluted a while back, but there's these lots of natural processes thanks to the topsoil. It's washing it all back into lake and natural biochemicals and uh, microorganisms are taking care of all that. And so in a couple years, the pollution will be gone and we'll be able to sell those. It will be uh, good for family use and we can buy it and sell it as real estate. That's all I have to say. One could one you and then we'll go here. What's the Wait a minute, 30 some years of being open to the elements and washing away wasn't good, and so because it was poisonous, we covered it up with topsoil. Listen to what you're saying. Somebody sold you a bill of goods on this. 30 years of rainwater and snow washing those elements into the lake and the microorganisms did not clean it up, it was still there, so they had to put a super fun site, covered it all up. Which costs six, over $16,000 per acre. Well, yes, no, I'm just saying, somebody's that would be telling you something that if you think about it logically, cannot be. Excuse I'm me, Randy. Um, I, yeah. Yeah. My intent of running the meeting was to have this as open as possible, <laughs> but I don't want to have people in the audience debating each other. That's right. So thank you for your comment. Thank you for yours right here. Uh, you know, I used some sarcasm earlier, and I apologize for that, but... No, I see a, this is not just Houghton County. This is deruralization going on all over across the country. And while that's happening, I see our government in the last six months coming out with all these different forms of crowd control. I mean, you call me paranoid, but if everybody's rounded up in these areas and septic things are bad and we can't live out in the country, and we have all this crowd control stuff, I, mean, for, I, I just don't like the whole thought of that, you know. So okay, thank you. I just want to read one little tidbit of information that Randy left out <laughs> that's in your land use plan. Um, this is on page 25 for people like to follow along. The richness of what is available to the public is tempered by the fact that certain prime places such as spectacular waterfalls and scenic coastlines are in private hands. Perhaps the future will provide opportunities to make these, these other special places publicly available through either public ownership or private enterprise. Do not the public own enough? How much more do we have to give up? Sorry, I missed that one, Mary. That's all right, Randy. Where, what page was that? 25. 25. They, they tell you what they're going to do. Our founding fathers were all about Georgics, which means land ownership, and about independence, your people being independent. And I think it's really important to follow their, their leading. Uh, I think we're forgetting about the people that don't have land, and they're here, and they have rights to have public access to enjoyment that is slowly being manipulated. And it isn't government. It has to do with interest in areas, as I started to tell you, even in the townships, are being swayed to the interest of the money coming in. And that is the key. If you have money that's going to give for your particular thing, they're all for it. We have to have some kind of vehicle that brings to the forefront so people can come to things like this. In Lake Linen, they had UP engineers come in and they were paid $14,000 for what and how to develop what they thought the people in Lake Linden Township wanted. We have bump out. We have little brick uh, streets. We have lighting. They took out the wonderful lighting that was Christmas tree. Change comes. They were all upset. They don't listen now to their <coughs> village people. They have their own marketing. 
idea of where they're going. And if we don't have some kind of overview of a lot of input, where are we going to be? You have a piece of property and you're worrying about the guy that lives next to you only. That's it. You need to worry about all of it. Gentleman in the back, and I'll come back to you. This comment was made earlier from one of the members of the board. Trying to limit urban sprawl, I think it was. That's foreign to me. To me, that's a good thing. I don't know if that was an individual comment. Could you expand upon that, or is that more of a board wide look at urban sprawl, trying to curb it and bring it back into the urban area? Actually, I don't think that the word urban sprawl was used in the plan. I think it was uh, residential, something that Randy pointed out. Uh, and he mentioned that uh, one of the concerns in the 2006 document was uh, rural sprawl, meaning uh, that uh, there's been a tendency for people to uh, populate along every road, uh, lot by lot by lot, all the way down all the roads. And some of the implications that brings with it is uh, a need for more infrastructure, uh, more police protection, uh, cable, electricity, that kind of thing, which is more expensive to society overall than when people are concentrated. It was intended in 2006 to be a statement of description, what's been happening in the area. Uh, this planning commission doesn't have an opinion about sprawl versus urbanization. And in fact, I think the word urbanization is even something that's um, almost a little bit, uh, it's a non sequitur up here. We're a rural area overall. When you include cable TV, you use electricity, that's private enterprise. That has nothing to do with our tax bills. When you say that it's going to take more police protection, it's per capita. It's not where they build. So that's a misrepresentation, what you were trying to throw at us. Cable, electricity, it's private enterprise, it's private business. <laughs> That's the best I can do with that question. Bob. I have a little bit different understanding of America than what's been expressed uh, mostly tonight. Uh, I believe that America is an, it was founded upon our independence. But I also believe that we are more than independent people. We are interdependent people. We are not just a confederation of states, as was once proposed in the early congressional. We are a united states with many different ingredients. We are interdependent upon the states or the Fed. We are interdependent upon the township, the county, the local community. We are as much interdependent as we are independent, in my philosophy. And you're welcome to disagree with me. 